All right, for this problem, we have a 600-pound barrel. It's resting in a trough. Um, and we have two normal forces supporting this. So the 600-pound force is acting down through the center. And the normal forces are acting at this edge and this edge here, perpendicular to the surfaces. Uh, so each one is at a separate angle, uh, which is going to make things a little more complicated. It's not symmetrical. All right, step one in our equilibrium analysis, we need to draw a free body diagram. Um, so for our barrel, and draw the barrel in there. We have our 600 pound force. And we have F3 over here. And F2 over here. Um, so this one I can draw in, it is 45 degrees uh, from either horizontal or vertical. Um, this one is 30 degrees from vertical. So you can draw on a vertical line, you got 30 degrees right there. All right, so that is my free body diagram. I've got two unknown forces and the one known force, the gravity force. Um, so I can, for this, is a, I'm going to treat it as a particle uh, since all of these forces are concurrent. So I have two equations. I'm going to do sum of forces in the x and sum of forces in the y. And so sum of forces. In the x direction, I'm going to take all the x components of the forces. And so that is uh, F2 times the cosine of 45. Uh, the gravity force does not have any x component. Uh, F3, it's going to be F3 times the sine uh, of 30 degrees. And this is negative. Um, because my extra is in the negative x direction there. So minus F3 times the sine of 30. And so the sum of the forces in the x direction must be equal to 0. All right, let's do the same thing from the y direction. So sum of forces in the y direction, uh, I'm going to have F2 uh, times the sine of 45 degrees, that's the y component of F2, uh, plus F3 times the cosine of 30 degrees. Um, and then I'm going to subtract off the gravity force is in the negative y direction. So minus 600 is equal to 0. All right, so now I have my two equilibrium equations. All I need to do now is solve those equations. So I'm going to take the uh, first part. Since both of these have two unknowns, I've got to uh, basically solve one for one variable in terms of the other, and then substitute in that value. So using this top equation, I can solve that and say that F2 is going to be equal to the sine of 30 over the cosine of 45 times F3. All right, so now I can substitute this value for F2 into the second equation. So I'm going to use that second equation. I'm going to have uh, F2 is going to be sine 30 over cosine 45 times um, F3. And that whole thing gets multiplied by sine 45. Careful not to forget that. Plus F3 times the cosine of 30. And that's going to be equal to 600. Move the 600 over to the other side. All right. So this whole thing, if I can, I can move the F3 out. Uh, and I just have all of these sines and cosines left together. Uh, if I solve this equation for F3, I should end up with F3 being equal to 439.2, uh, and the units are going to be pounds. And so once I solve for F3, I can plug this value for F3 back in up here, multiply by sine 30, divide by cosine 45, and I wind up with F2 being equal to 310.6.
pounds. All right, so with that, I have solved for my two unknowns. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.